It's your old buddy Microchip here playing Trains 2019 Platinum Edition. And this is the CNO Hidden Episode 30. I think, I'm not sure, but I think at the end of the last episode I said stay tuned because episode 40 is next. No, 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 After 29 comes 30. Yeah. Uh, while I put you guys on pause later on in the game, uh, I'm going to have to figure out what comes after 30. Uh, but when I do that, I'll let you know. Uh, so we are sitting here. This is where we left off. We were working Graham. Now, that's either Graham in front of us here or it's Sam. Uh, let me show you why I don't know because, see, there's the first one. Here's the second one. I, 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 you can see enough here. You tell me who's who. All right. So uh, what we were doing is we were going around. We just uh, picked out a bunch of cars from the repair uh, shop. And now we've got some other cars to pick up and drive them back over to Hinton so we can uh, put them on the reclassification track. So here we go. Nah, nah. Pulling out. There we go. All right, so the next place we're going to is right down here. We're going to grab onto this stock car. You can barely see it behind the tree. It's right there. Then we're going to come over here. We're going to grab onto these uh, four empty flatbeds from Ball Lumber and then get this car over here. I think there's two cars on this side and one car on stock car on this side. Uh, so we're collecting three stock cars all together. Yeah, yeah. No, wait a minute. This one here is, uh, yeah. is that the one I want to go down? Oh, no, that's the Y. That's the Y. That's right. Oh, I'm jumping all over the place here. Here we go. Get these trees. I just got done recording a tidewater, and I forget how long it takes these sometimes to slow down. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's ride this one in. Uh, I'm gonna have to do some switching on the fly, though. Can I do that? Let's find out. Up onto this spur here. Uh, then we gotta go this way first. All right, look at that. Switch it on the fly. These industries are all south of the Avis Yard, which you see right up here. Or is it north? And uh, this spur here, these industries here, are uh, right next to the Avis Yard. There you go. Got to buy tickets to get in here? What is that? Got a bathroom? Can't be. Not this far out. All right, so we want to go that way. Yep. We got this little area right here on our left. End of the stockyard. And then we got cows galore. How much, uh, how many stock cars this thing? Okay. I'm looking at the queue on my, uh, yeah, I know uh, on my, uh, spreadsheet. So it's, it's pretty big. Slow it down to 35. Uh, okay. It is empty, right? That's what I was wondering. This one's full, but that came out of the yard, the repair yard. It is empty. I did remember to empty it. The mooing was incessant.
the train upsets the cows. Don't be, don't worry, cows. Don't let it upset you. You'll all be dead soon. All right. Uh, yeah. Remember forward or backward? I just remembered. Just came came to mind. All right. Let's look at the engines here for a little bit. Why they pull up? Why is there a long thing like this all the way down here? I did not build this. To this shed here. Is this the shed where they give them the axe? I wouldn't think so, right? And yeah, they're probably just keeping them all in there, right? Get out of the way. Here's the other car you gotta pick up over there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Is this where we're slaughtering them? I mean, it's open on the one side, which would make sense because I can't imagine it smells very good. Of course, as I can remember, this is back in olden times, so I don't know. I'm not familiar with their techniques. Of course, not a thing about it. I'm not familiar with the modern techniques either. There you go. When it comes to techniques, I'm just not familiar. Right, here's the switch we got to clear. And Doctor will just hurl himself off. Ooh, hard landing. He landed both knees right into the ballast. Ooh. That's gonna leave a mark in the morning. Go. Long clear. I'm gonna, I can't take it. What does it say above the house? It says six. <laughs> there, that cleared it up. It's it's your basic six shed right there. That's all. Here, I thought it was something interesting. <laughs> This way and hook up to the flat cars here. Chesapeake and Ohio flat cars. Uh, some of them that I have on the route are Pier Marquette. We saw that last time. Don't get crazy. Go. Now we have one more to pick up. Grab onto this one right here. But these are all Chesapeake and Ohio's. Nice cars there. There it is. Target straight ahead. Roger ramming speed. Down just a little bit. Oh boy, maybe too late. No, we hit at five. I usually don't like to hit them at five. But we did hit within the regulations. Three to five mile an hour. Okay. Let's go back to the front. Okay. Except forget the engines are facing the wrong way. Go back to the back. Uh, and now we're going to pull on out of here, right? Let's do it. All right, so that's those. Now the next ones we got to get. There's two more we got to collect over on this side. Two more, two more cuts. Here's one cut at Wick's lumber. The lumber is all loaded up, so we'll collect him next. Obviously, then we're gonna come over here, do a run around using this uh, turnout and this crossover here, and then we're gonna have to run over here. To the block company to pick up these three uh, flat cars full of cinder blocks. 
That's what they are, cinder blocks. Hey, he's having a little problem pulling this up the hill. What do we got here? Oh, yeah, 360, 362, he's having problems. I think we are on a grade of some kind. Hard to tell. <laughs> Look at that, why? It's floating above the ground. I noticed that on the other track over there, too. I thought I was going to fix it, but guess what? I never fixed it. So I'll have to, I don't think I put that Y in there, right? I wouldn't have done. I wouldn't have done that, right? I might have. Okay. Here's the next one he's got to clear. Now, when I pull these ones out of Wix lumber, they're going to be on the other side of the engine, which is fine. Forgetting about the tagging, too. I should have tagged him before I picked him up. I think I can figure it out. There we go. Probably able to tag him while we're moving. We'll kill two birds with one stone. There we go. And, uh, yep, forward. We do 75 out here, right? It's 20. All right, 75% of me. That's 35 miles an hour. Uh, I go this way. And we're going to come down here. Okay, go across this. Make sure this is set correctly so we don't derail. Okay, it is. Uh, then we're going to come down here to get that. To get these two right here. Yep. Okay, so let's go back here now. This is the front of the train. Uh, this one is empty now, so this one should be tagged as none. It's going to be reclassified. Now, these here have already been emptied, so we're going to tag them. I see it says tag block of four cars. I can tag all four, or I can tag one at a time. There's no in-between, but I'm going to put none, so it tagged all four of them as none. I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. All right, I sneezed. Uh, we're going to back up, back up, back up. Here's two more for the Avis Stockyard, but they uh, have already been emptied, so we're going to tag two of them. See, I can uncheck it. If I uncheck it, I'll tag one at a time, but if I check it, it'll tag both of them. Uh, we'll say none. They're here. Avis Wicks on them. This came out of the repair yard, so that's going to stay. That's going to stay. That's going to stay. That's going to stay. Uh, this one is none, because I already set these up. Okay, very good. Yep, 75% on the throttle is a 19 mile an hour. It's a six. It's a six on the throttle if you're thinking like a engineer. Assuming that these, I, I would assume these engines also had eight notches on them. Maybe they don't. Somebody decided eight notches was a good amount of notches. Now, do some en modern engines have something other than eight notches? I don't know that either. I assume they do, do, uh, do, but I'm beginning to wonder why do I assume that? Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. You know what we're going to do, too, while we're here? Slow it down a little bit more is one thing we're going to do. We're going to drop these cars up here on the main. Why pull them all the way down there when they're just going to come right back here again? Plus, the uh, conductor looks a little bored. He's bored. We'll send him on a little mission. All righty. 
Now we're going to back down this way. Make sure this is set up correctly. It is, right? Get out of the way, tree. Yeah, it is. Okay. Here we go. Watch it, fellas. Slow. Oh, I, we hit the bumper. Yeah, we hit the bumper. It stopped real fast. Doesn't look like we hit the bumper, but we hit the bumper. All right, I'm going to do a little experiment here. What if I back it up a little more? Let me back up a little more. Yes, he won't let me back up anymore. It definitely hit the bumper, even though it doesn't look like it. There we go. Okay. There he goes. Well, they're loading up trains and they're loading up trucks. What am I doing? There we go. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, thanks with the bell. Appreciate it. Slow down. Slow down. There you go. Okay, 30%. Okay, now we got to do a run around. Is it going to fit? Yeah, I, I think so. Oh, yeah, easy gonna fit easy so now we gotta move these cars past this switch right here i'll give a little more gas than that there you go. which these are diesel electrics they have a gas engine in them i suppose What do you do, like, what, if you own an electric car, you can't say give it gas. Give it some gas. What do you say? Give it some electricity? Give it some juice? I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. How come I can't see this switch? Hey, what's going on? Stop, 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 stop. How come I can't see that switch? Oh, it's being a jerk. People threw the phone wires or something, probably. Thought I wanted to select the phone wires. All right. Uh, did we stop in time? Uh, well, we're kind of close. Okay, so what we'll do is, because I'm far away here, but so we'll go this way and then this way. And then we can pull forward till this one uh, clears this first switch right here. It's all good. I got it all under control. Here we go. We got a yellow over a flashing red. Approach. Yeah, I cheated. There we go. We'll stop it right there. That's far enough now. Come up here. And we'll say apply. There we go. Yes and yes. Poor flat car's all by himself. Or herself, I can't tell the difference. Here he comes. Very nice. All right, now we're going to run all the way down to this end. Hence the term run around. Uh, and then where do I got to go? The block company? Where's that? 
Oh, it's right here. Okay. So that track's going to be... That's the last track before we hit the station. Last turnout before the station. Uh, what are we doing way up here? I don't know. Let's go down here look at some trains. Approach on this one as well. Crossover. Slow down for the crossover. I'm always 15 mile an hour. Ah, slow down. We have to stop. We get the other side of the switch anyway. But I'm always on the fence. Should I slow down on these crossovers or shouldn't I? Why is it such a hard decision for me? Of course, what ends up happening is sometimes I slow down and sometimes I don't. Depends on what kind of mood I'm in, I guess. Not gonna final move in the runaround. back this way. A whole mess. I was going to say, you better hurry, but now it's too late. It's a cool car with nobody driving it. Must be one of the earlier Teslas. Okay, uh, so before we do that, let's go. We're going to have to go no, we're going to go all the way down with this. Oh, yeah, we are. So we're going to go this way, then this way. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back to this. It's a cool shot. Oh, 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 hurry, hurry. Here we go. Nice. Textbook train horn there. Yeah, okay. He's already beeping? You should have been here a while ago. I think it was last episode. Yeah, that was murder. It's a sizable train, mixed freight. Holy moly. Take it easy, ghost. We're going to get out of your way and just say, look at that. See, now we're out of your way. Seem to hang on for too long, though. Waiting for it to come up. Did that happen last time, too? I think it did. Yeah, now now I agree. Now it should be up. Turn that off. I thought that bell was these things. It's, a, it's the bell from the... There it goes. Whoa, jeez, Pat. You're taking off the top of your car. He ripped his... Uh, his uh, convertible roof there. Tore, tore a big hole in it. That's sad. Okay. Yeah, that uh, crossing gate gives uh, a very wide berth to the trains. All right, so this should be the last two that we're picking up here. Unless I forgot something, which I don't think I did. 
If I did, it's no big deal. We can come back and get them later. See, I got the block coming. I got the stockyard. Look at my uh, spreadsheet. I got the repair. I got the ball lumber. Here's Wix. Yeah. I got everything. Now we're backing up. Down into this spur. What's this called? Avis 42. Yeah, sure. goes. Let's run down here and I'll make sure this should be set up correctly. Is this first one right here. It is. Let's make sure it is. It's beautiful. Okay. You, oh, you know what though? Before we lash onto these, uh, we got time. Let's, uh, let's do the tagger right away. This is the front end of the back and it won't, it won't block them. Okay. That's the uh, minus no, we're at the front end now. Okay. So, yeah, we'll not block them. Oh, and see, this is C&O, C&O, and then this is Pierre, Pierre Marquette. See what it'll do now? It'll only do the first two because the third one has is a, is a different uh, nomenclature. Weird, isn't it? But it does. Okay, then we'll tag this one as none as well. So they can all be reclassified. Okay, we're good. Now we're going to run back up here. How far down the hill are we? A little bit. A little bit down. Here we go. I'm now employing use of the back scratcher. Okay, back scratcher successful. All right, so after we lash up on uh, to these cars here, uh, we're going to run them all back up to Hinton, which is not very far away. If you've been watching this series at all, Hinton Yard and the Avis Yard are right next to each other. Hinton Block Company is what this is called. Here we come. Got it? Charge those brake lines in just a matter of seconds and pull on out. Okay. We're going to run up to the front here. Actually, we're going to run all the way down now and make sure all our switches are ready. So, okay, we know this one's ready. We know this one's ready. We're going to go over onto this line here and this way because we will run. Could go through the air, but it's going to slow us down. So we're not going to do that. Uh, but we are going to go on this crossover here because even though it looks like I've gotten off the main, I have not because those two merge right there. It's tricky. Come all the way down here, doing 20 mile an hour the whole way. And then we're going to go like this, and then like this, and then make sure this is pointing this way. This time. There we go. And we're not going to drill anything. What are we doing over here? I thought I, thought I went up here. Sure didn't. Okay, so uh, we're not going to drill anything. We're just going to put them all, like I said, on the uh, reclassification track. Now let's check weight. What do we got? 639. Near double, right? Where we were last time. We really got no problem pulling it now.
To me, it looks like we're on a grade. Right up there is the first crossover we gotta we have to navigate. We're gonna keep it at 15 on this crossover. Then once we clear that crossover, we're gonna keep it at 15 because we gotta do the second crossover. Then when we clear that crossover, we'll crank it to 20. Crossover number If hit in such a nice place, why are so many people trying to leave? Maybe they're tourists. Maybe they're going on vacation. Just because there's a lot of people at the train station doesn't mean that the town is bad. Who am I arguing with right now? Once again, there's the ice house on the right there. That green building with the raised platform. They can shuffle the ice over and then it lines up right with the... Uh, Reefers, they just dump the ice right into the reefers. Reefers have doors on top of them. We'll accommodate that move. All right, now we're going to take a look at the back of the train and wait until it clears. Once it clears that switch right there, we're going to juice it. Just take it up another 10% of what we're going to do. That'll get us uh, another 5 mile an hour. This is a longer train than I thought. You'll see the switch from here, but I can tell when they uh, even out. Almost. And there it is. As I can tell. Boo shed. Roundhouse. I like to point them out when we go by. Mainly because I like to do it. And secondly, because maybe this is somebody's first episode. They've never watched me before. They, they looked at episodes 1 through 29 on this series and said, Crap. 30 looks good. But episodes 1 through 29 are all crap. But I have to accommodate those people. Somebody's getting a whole lot of coal cars. This is a coal mining map. That's not too surprising. another lumber company right here and then there's this thing here again now, I, I think I mentioned before I don't know what that is is it a dock area let's go down and just take a look at it oh it looks like they got sewage or water coming in what is it what is that for I don't know then you have this little green shed too power shed or something then you got this little block here it's got a grate on top something underneath the ground here <laughs> I don't know one of those little mysterious uh, train uh, buildings do we have a green on that yeah look at that clear we got a clear signal 
Good deal. Here we come. This is the switch we got to clear right here. Nice shot. We're going to see the whole train here. Getting them frogs. Start slowing it down. Mm, I started slowing it down too late. Yeah, I did. How? Oh, I didn't think I needed that much. I'm always surprised, but which doesn't make much sense because it happens every time. Got this. We're going to go this way. Then this way. There is Thomas. Right there. Uh, then we're gonna go this way, then we're gonna go this way, and then we're gonna go that way. Let's stick them all on this track. I think they should all fit on there. I'm pretty sure they will. Still hitting it. There we go. They're straining. They're doing it though. We're up to three mile an hour already. That's good. Slide on to the other end here. I can see when it's time to debark. Let's get down close on this one with these, these bricks. What does that sticker on top say? Can't get any closer than that? Oh. <laughs> Did that again. Uh, let's see how they do in uh, roaming mode. No, this is it. This is as close as I can get. I can't see what this says. I'm sure it's not all that exciting. Ready? This track. Yard lead. And we got a red over yellow coming up, which says what? Line ahead is clear for one block. Yes, 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 and yes. Get them all set correct. All right, let's regauge the size of my train. Look at the track there. Look at the train here. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think she's got enough room. We're going to have to ride this one back. I think we might have to put it on the second track there, too. Which is fine. Uh, it's going to be close. They might all fit. And again, they might not. Probably should slow down, though. Before we have that disaster again. Just hit the brakes. Just hit the brakes. Okay, so let's see where we're at now. Oh, yeah, we're on. We're on. Okay. Very good. Now let's, uh, just because I'm anal... I'm going to pull it up a little bit here. Should probably stop about right here instead. Instead of that far back. It doesn't really make a difference, but like I said, I'm being in. Okay, so we'll sit him right there. That's good enough. Now we have a little bit of room here for Graham to pull up after he decouples. 
Don't forget who he is. There we go. Pull it up here just a little bit. And there we go. Okay, so that ends Graham's turn. Uh, let me put you guys on pause so I figure out what we're doing next. We are here with Adair in Brooks. Uh, they call this place Brooks because in this area there's a lot of little small, what are they called? Little waterways, not rivers, streams. That's right. That's why they call it Brooks because there's a lot of streams in this area. All right. So uh, he is at Brooks and where is he heading next? Well, let me uh, let me tell you. He is headed to uh, Hinton. Yeah. Yeah, it's time to go back to Hinton for Adair. Cool how the bell goes back and forth, huh? That's nice. Hey, uh, what are we, what are we doing? Uh, never get the track mark, yeah. Uh, Hinton? Hinton. Oh, uh, now wait a minute. Is it Hinton track mark or is it just Hinton? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just Hinton. I think I have this problem every time. Okay. Everybody cross your fingers. Let's hope it's hitting. I think hitting track mark is where I send my uh, <clears throat> freights to. Here he goes, Norfolk and Western. These are well oiled. Hard to make a noise, these cars. There he goes. Now, looking at the uh, time there, we're at 12.41. But we'll watch him until 12.46. Late. Yeah, a lot late. I'm going to have to change that marker. And once again, as we always talk about, there are no roadside markers on it. So I turn on the uh, our line side camera. There's the car now. Shut up. Whoops. No, 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 no. Thank you. Now, this one seems to be on time. skip in the whistle there. According to my thing, it's five miles. Okay, it's four miles till him. I don't think we'll get there. Well, we're only doing 50. You have to do 60 miles an hour to get there a mile a minute. And number two, slowing down. Let's have a yellow coming up here somewhere. Let's see it. All right, while he's doing this, let's uh, go forward here and find out where this yellow is. There it is. Right here. I think we stood on this before, didn't we? Uh, here's a, uh, what do they call these? A switching tower? Uh, some kind of tower, right? Oh, look, we can go inside. Oh, yeah, see, look, it's got all the, the, the cranks. Hey, stop, come on. It's got all the cranks in it so you can do the tracks remotely. Let, let's take a look out the window. Oh, look at this shot, huh? This is nice. Here he comes. Here he comes. Look at that. That is beautiful.
I'd want to turn and, and look at him, but it's going to throw me way off. Yeah, look at Oh, yeah. yeah I want to come over here and look at this window. Maybe we can. Oh, it's just so hard to move. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It was not very smooth, but we, we made it. All right, back up here. Still under a caution or an approach or something like that. A lot of waterfalls on this river. The new river. And here's another one here. What, what are they calling? An approach? It says approach, yep. Very pretty route. Chuff, chuff, chuffing along here on the Chesapeake in Ohio. Ninton Division. This is one big curve around here. I don't see the Hinton Yard. Oh, it slows down to 20 mile an hour here, huh? Wonder why. Well, we won't be able to figure out this time because guess what? It's 46 up there in the clock in the upper right-hand corner, and we are in the butter zone, people. I'm afraid we're going to have to call it quits for today. Hey, thanks a lot for joining me once again. I had a great time, as I always do. I hope you did the same. Uh, join me again now for episode 31. I researched it. Uh, after 30 comes 31. So uh, join me again for episode 31. Are we at Hinton right now? It is. Look at it. It's Hinton. I'll be darned. Okay, so uh, we're at Hinton right now. How about that? We made it there. But... Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I was saying goodbye. That's right. So uh, why don't you subscribe? Why don't you like? Why don't you, uh, you know, leave me a leave me a comment, and then I, I can write you back. We can talk back and forth. That's nice. Uh, is it gonna is it gonna switch up here? It says Junction's not aligned for this route. He's still sneaking up on it. He comes to a stop, and he got himself a yeller. Oh, uh, I can't see what it means. Is it just approach again? It is just approach. Again. Okay, this is a, this is a, one of the longest outros I've ever had. Uh, if you don't like the fact that my outro is this long, well, this just may not be the channel for you.